Hello everyone. Welcome to another session by Simply Learn. Today, we are going to discuss the Bayes theorem, an important subtopic that comes under probability theory. We'll start this video by talking about probability and conditional probability. After that, we'll move on to the Bayes theorem and understand its formula and a real life example where the Bayes theorem can be used. So, let's get started. What is probability? Probability is the branch of mathematics concerning numerical descriptions of how likely an event is to occur or how likely it is that a proposition is true. The probability of an event is a number between 0 and 1, where roughly speaking 0 indicates the impossibility of the event and 1 indicates certainty. The higher the probability of an event, the more likely is that the event will occur. Let's look at an example. A simple example is the tossing of a fair unbiased coin. Since the coin is fair, the outcome, that is heads and the tails, are both equally probable. The probability of heads equals the probability of the tails and since no other outcomes are possible, the probability of either heads or tails can be said to be 1 by 2, which is also 50%. The probability of an event can be calculated by number of ways it can happen divided by the total number of outcomes. Now that we know about the probability, let's see if you can answer this question. What is the probability of drawing a jack and a queen? consecutively from a deck of 52 cards without replacement. Here are your options. Post your answers in the comment section and let us know. Now let's move on to conditional probability. Let A and B be the two events associated with a random experiment. Then the probability of A's occurrence under the condition that B has already occurred and probability of B is not equal to zero is called the conditional probability. It is denoted by P A slash B. Thus, we can say that P A slash B is equal to P A intersection B divided by P of B, where P A slash B is the probability of occurrence of A given that B has already occurred, and P B is the probability of occurrence of B. To know more about conditional probability, you can check our previous video, which is specifically on conditional probability. Now let's move on to Bayes theorem. The Bayes theorem is the mathematical formula for calculating conditional probability in probability and statistics. In other words, it is used to figure out how likely an event is associated on its proximity to another. Bayes law or Bayes rule are the other names of this theorem. The formula for the Bayes theorem can be written in a variety of ways. The most common version is P A slash B is equal to P of B slash A into P of A divided by P of B where P A slash B is the conditional probability of event A occurring given that B is true and P A and B of B are the probabilities of A and B occurring independently of one another. Let's solve a problem using the Bayes theorem to understand it better. There is a cricket match tomorrow and in recent years it has rained only 5 days each year. Unfortunately, the meteorologist has predicted the rain for tomorrow. Now, when it rains, the meteorologist correctly forecasts rain 90% of the time and when it doesn't rain, he incorrectly forecasts rain 10% of the time. Let's calculate what is the probability that it will rain on the match day. So, the two sample spaces here are the events that it rains and it does not rain. Additionally, a third event is also there that meteorologist predicts the rain. So, the notation for these events appear below. Event A1 is equal to it rains on the match day, event A2 that it does not rain on the match day and event B is the meteorologist predicting the rain. Now in terms of probability, we know the following. Probability of A1 is 5 by 365 that it rains 5 days in a year which will come out to be 0 0.0136. PA2 is 360 by 365 that is no days for 360 days in a year which will come out to be 0.986. PB slash A1 is 0.9. This signifies when it rains, the meteorologist predicts the rain 90% of the time. In a similar manner, PB by A2 is 0.1 that it does not rain, the meteorologist predicts the rain 10% of the time. Combining all this, we can calculate PA1 slash B that is the probability it will rain on the given match day given a forecast of rain by meteorologist. The answer can be determined using the Bayes theorem as shown below. So, here is the formula of the Bayes theorem and putting all the values that we have calculated in the previous slide, the probability that it will rain on the match day given a forecast of the rain by meteorologist will come out to be 0 0.111, which will be equal to 11.11%. 11 
So there's an 11% chance that it will rain on the match day given that the meteorologist has predicted the rain. I hope this example is clear to you. With this, we have come to an end of this video on the Bayes theorem. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, then please put them in the comment sections. Also, if you like the video, then please subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.